Hey there folks and welcome back for another head shaving video and today we're going to have another shootout between the Schick Extreme 3 and the uh, Headblade Moto. Each of these have two shaves on the blade so it's even on utilization, two head shaves uh, each. Let me uh, wet the dome and we'll come back and get going. Stay tuned. Alright, so we've wet the dome. We're going to apply a little head slick here. Um, this works very nicely. Uh, the only problem I have with it every now and then I squeeze it and a lot comes out versus a little. Um, but it's great stuff uh, otherwise and works tremendously well. Um, I never would have thought it to be honest because you know I prefer traditional soaps but I must say this head slick um, as long as you keep it nice and moist um, it does a great job but you must uh, rinse your hands thoroughly afterwards because it'll that the sheen of slickness will stay on there and your hands will be super slick and your razor might uh, fly out of it <laughs> like a wet trout and of course nobody needs that. We'll uh, split the head in half today and go with the Schick Extreme on one half and then uh, we'll use the head blade on the other. So far um, I have found the head blade Tends, tends to work better. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the angle. Um, maybe it's the pivots that it has. I don't know what to attribute to. Attribute it to. But so far, um, it has done the better job um, overall for me. That doesn't mean it will for you. One of the things I saw yesterday, there was a gentleman in uh, in Razor and Brush who had posted that, because uh, he saw my video about carts, and my uh, my theory or hypothesis, whatever you want to call it, was if you use a, a decent soap, that the cart will actually work okay for shaving. And that is the case for me. And, and in fact, um, so far it's been a better tool for me for head shaving. Well, he, you know, hasn't had great results with the cart. And uh, I had to go back and say, hey, I said for me, <laughs> you know, it has been the better tool, not um, I can't declare it for everyone, you know, and so that's something always to consider when you're watching these videos. The, uh, opinion, you know, the only opinion that I'm, that I can give is my own, and it's for me, for my use case, the type of hair I have, the type of skin I have, and all the rest, and these things will vary, so please, um, keep that in mind. I'm only speaking for me, and I like to say for me a lot. I tend to say it a lot. All right. There is the Schick Extreme 3 side. Now let's move on over to the head blade side and see how we do. Um, I'm not sure what the reason, but the head blade just, uh, it does a little better job at getting some of my tough spots or has so far. I've tried it up against a number of razors. Um, and again, I don't have any interest <laughs> in the company. Uh, head blade. I don't own stock. I don't even know if it's publicly traded. I doubt it. Maybe it is. Um, the only knock on head blade that I'm aware of is a buddy of mine, Ronnie Greer, who's a head shaver, um, said he went to order, I think it was the head blade moto, and it was like the shipping was, I don't know, quite expensive. And that was the only thing I would say. Really, the shipping did seem to be a little bit too much um, if you order it direct. Now you can get these at uh, Walgreens. I think he actually went back and got one at Walgreens and didn't have to pay any shipping. So there is a way around that. But um, um, he did tell me that he was none too pleased when he put the items in his cart. The shipping was a little high. I think it was over 10 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. And he wasn't ordering a ton of stuff. So, you know, there is that to consider. Again, I'm not here just to, you know, sing the praises of every vendor. If there's a problem, I'm going to tell you. And shipping, if you order direct, may or may not be an issue. I don't know. I got mine from Amazon. So let's uh, put a little water here on the head and see how we did. Okay. Up here, we're about even. Um, we're pretty close to even on that pass. To tell you the truth, feels feels pretty good, except for on the Schick side, right here towards the back of my head, I feel a little bit more than I do on the head blade side. So I would say 
the head blade uh, on this pass was, you know, a little better. Um, I wouldn't say it's, you know, dramatic, but a little better. Let's apply a little more of this. And I have some leftover soap from Sterling this morning, so I'll just sort of use it too. The head blade was uh, a little more efficient on that pass, so we'll see what this one brings. Let's lather up the dome here. Again, rinsing these hands because this stuff gets uh, quite slick. Um, I put a little bit of that excess head slick I had in my <laughs> lather bowl, so it's sort of mixed in with the Sterling soap, so you can expect a, a pretty slick, you know, experience. Now, protecting the ears here, as I always tell you, or I try to remind you. Um, and we'll see how we come out here. Because it's pretty good. Um, this Chic uh, Extreme 3 does contour and pivot. It doesn't pivot a ton, but it moves a little bit but it actually can bend a little in the middle. It's flexible. And this was recommended by Carrie, who's a buddy of mine, head shaver. And again, folks, if you use DEs and they are the cat's meow for you, then continue to use them. I, I'm not suggesting that uh, the only way you can get a great head shave is with the cards. And, and in fact, I'm quite new at it. You know, I've been at that, only at this a little over a month, so I have maybe I don't know what today is, but maybe 40, uh, 50 head shaves. I'm not sure. I've shaved every day since I started. But uh, so I don't have a tremendous amount of experience to draw from. But so far, the carts have been the better tool. That's for me. May not be the case for you. You might may find that a DE just hits the spot and does a, tr a you know, considerably better job. Let's uh, refresh or lather a little bit there. Slick a little bit because while talk, talking it can dry out. Add a little bit of moisture in there. Anyway, um, you know your mileage may vary is always um, like my hand uh, something you have to consider and you know I'm not I think the uh, head blade the way that pivots and the angle I think does something for me um, that's what I think and you can hear it probably there busting those whiskers and let's switch hands um, the only downside would be you know around your ears you're gonna have to be a little more careful because you know it's a little wider um, the device itself but overall um, I find I found it to be a very effective head shaving device um, for me. And uh, if it's something you haven't tried, it's definitely worth trying. Uh, and if you don't like it, you know, certainly don't have to use it. But if you're a head shaver, it works well. And some people um, use it on their face. I'm going to try that at some point to just use head slick and, and head blade and see how it does. Um, I think it would be a little awkward just because I'm not used to it, but uh, you know, I could be wrong. Okay, let's uh, get a little water here and see how we did. All right. I'd say it's pretty close. Uh, in, in a few areas, the head blade side is a little bit smoother, um, but overall, it, it's pretty close, to be honest. This Schick, surprisingly, this Schick Extreme 3 did a little better job against the head blade than the Fusion did. I wouldn't have expected that, um, but I think I feel on this side just a little bit more in a few spots, which we will go ahead and uh, touch up off cam in, in here a little bit more. Um, the head blade side is a little more smooth. There's still a few spots I'm going to have to clean up, but as I'm feeling it, it seems like overall the head blade did a little better uh, once again. It's not dramatic, but I think it came out a little better, so let's uh, touch up the shave off cam and then we'll come back and wrap this baby up stay tuned all right and in comes the magic made by witches there's witch hazel which is great stuff you see it here daily both on the face and the dome. well i don't do a head shaving video every day on cam but you see it every time i'm shaving let's put it that way great stuff all right the winner by a slight margin today is 
the head blade. It was closer than I expected it to be, but the head blade um, did a little bit better job. Incremental, you know, not um, not by a wide margin. The Schick Extreme 3 did a really good job as well. Um, here's the advantage of the Schick Extreme 3. A little more mobile, probably around the ears. Uh, the advantage of this one, it got a little closer, and if you're in a hurry, you can use this one quite a bit faster, although I'd still advise caution because you can cut yourself with this. I haven't, but people have. Um, but if I wanted to do a quick head shave, this would be the one I would go to which is because it's just so easy to use. All right, let's uh, close this out with our aftershave, which is Sterling Orange Chill. I used that soap today, so, and this aftershave on my face. We'll go ahead and apply it to the dome and face, why not? And we will be ready to get this beautiful Friday started. Thanks so much, folks, for watching. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.